Hey everybody, it's me here with Google. Today I'm going to be talking about how to train an AI model. There are three main steps to training any machine learning model. Preparing your data, choosing a model, and then training that model. Let's dive in a little bit deeper into each of these steps. First, we need data. Any machine learning model needs data in order to learn from the data can come in many different forms, whether it's structured data like a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet, or maybe it's unstructured data like images or text. One thing to keep in mind is that training models can be very computationally expensive. So typically, you want to have as much data as possible. More data generally means better performance for your model. However, there is such a thing as too much data where the added performance from more data starts to diminish. It really depends on the size of your model and the task that you're trying to accomplish. Once you have your data, you need to prepare it. This step is often overlooked, but it's actually one of the most important steps in training a model. The data that you initially collect is probably not ready to feed into a machine learning algorithm. Maybe it needs to be cleaned. For example, you might have missing values or maybe some outliers that you need to remove. You want to take all of that noise out before feeding it to your model so that it can learn more efficiently. Another thing to keep in mind is that you may need to transform your data into a format that works for your model. Many models assume that your data is in a specific format. For example, Tabular data like a CSV file may need to be split into features and labels. Features are the values that you use to make predictions, while labels are the actual targets that you're trying to predict. You may also need to normalize or standardize your data. This means that you want to scale all of your features so that they re in a similar range. This helps the model converge faster and can prevent some features from dominating others during training. Now let's talk about choosing a model. There are literally hundreds of models to choose from, and this can be very overwhelming for new machine learning engineers. Some popular models include decision trees, support vector machines, and of course, deep learning models like neural networks. When choosing a model, you want to keep in mind the size of your dataset as well as the task that you're retrying to accomplish. If you have a small dataset, then you might want to consider using a simpler model like a decision tree. If you have a large dataset and you're doing something like image classification, then you might want to consider using a deep learning model like a convolutional neural network. Another thing to consider is interpretability. Some models are more interpretable than others, meaning that you can actually look at the model after it's trained and understand how it makes predictions. Decision trees are very interpretable, while models like black box neural networks are not as interpretable. Once you've chosen your model, you can start training it. Training a model involves feeding it data and letting it adjust its internal parameters so that it can make accurate predictions. The process of training can take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, depending on the size of your model and the amount of data that you're training it on. Once the model has been trained, you can then use it to make predictions on new data. Now, this is a very simplified overview of how to train an AI model, but hopefully it gives you enough to get started. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Technogoy. If you found this content valuable, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Tech AI Brain for more insights into the digital revolution. Now, don't forget to check out our main channel, IT Samurai Teacher, for in-depth tech tutorials. Stay curious, keep innovating, and we'll see you in the next video.